Welcome to Truth Be Told, where we share the sands of time and whisper ancient tales. Tales of powerful beings who walked the earth long before recorded history, beings with advanced knowledge and technology. These beings are the Anunnaki. Their story is shrouded in mystery. Were they merely mythical deities? Or could they hold the key to understanding our very existence? The Anunnaki hail from the cradle of civilization, ancient Mesopotamia. This land, nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, birthed writing, agriculture, and the first cities. It is here, in the echoes of a forgotten past, that we find clues to the Anunnaki's presence. Clay tablets, inscribed with cuneiform script, tell of a pantheon of gods and goddesses. Among them, the Anunnaki stand out, their deeds forever etched in Mesopotamian myth. These ancient texts speak of the Anunnaki's descent from the heavens. They describe their interactions with humanity. They even hint at their role in shaping the destiny of humankind. The Anunnaki's story is a tapestry woven from myth, history, and tantalizing possibilities. It is a story that continues to captivate and intrigue us today. Mesopotamian mythology is a rich tapestry of gods, goddesses, and epic tales. It is a complex system of beliefs that evolved over millennia. At its heart are the Anunnaki, a group of deities who played a pivotal role in shaping the world and its inhabitants. The Anunnaki were not the only gods in the Mesopotamian pantheon, but they were among the most powerful. They were associated with the heavens, the earth, and the underworld. Their influence permeated every aspect of Mesopotamian life. According to Mesopotamian mythology, the Anunnaki created humans to serve them. These first humans were tasked with tending to the gods' earthly needs. This creation story, found in the Atrahasis epic, suggests a profound connection between humanity and the divine. The Anunnaki's influence on Mesopotamian culture was profound. Their presence is evident in art, literature, and even in the very structure of Mesopotamian society. By understanding the Anunnaki, we gain a deeper appreciation for the beliefs and values of this ancient civilization. One of the most intriguing pieces of evidence regarding the Anunnaki comes from the Sumerian King List. This ancient document, discovered in the ruins of Sumer, lists the names of kings who ruled in Mesopotamia, along with their incredibly long reigns. Some kings are said to have ruled for tens of thousands of years. The Sumerian King List presents a chronology that challenges our understanding of history. It suggests that civilization, far older than we currently believe, existed in Mesopotamia, could this be evidence of the Anunnaki's presence? Some scholars interpret the king list literally, suggesting that these long reigns were indeed factual. Others believe the list is symbolic, representing dynasties or even cosmic cycles. Regardless of its interpretation, the Sumerian king list remains a source of fascination and speculation. The king list's reference to a time before the flood further deepens the mystery. This flood, a cataclysmic event described in numerous ancient texts, is often linked to the Anunnaki. Could the Anunnaki have played a role in this ancient disaster? Sitchin's theory quickly gained popularity, capturing the attention of those intrigued by ancient mysteries and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. His books, including The Twelfth Planet and The Cosmic Code, became international bestsellers. While Sitchin's work sparked widespread interest, it also drew criticism from mainstream scholars. His interpretations of Sumerian texts were challenged, and his scientific claims were deemed unsubstantiated. Despite the controversy, Sitchin's work continues to influence popular culture, shaping how many view the Anunnaki and their alleged connection to humanity. Narrator Media Black and white photograph of Zechariah Sitchin 1970s footage of a scholar, people looking intrigued at a lecture. In the 1970s, a scholar named Zechariah Sitchin proposed a radical theory that would ignite imaginations worldwide. Sitchin, a self-taught scholar of ancient Sumerian, argued that the Anunnaki were not merely mythical beings, but extraterrestrial visitors. Sitchin based his theory on his interpretations of ancient Sumerian texts. He claimed these texts describe a 12th planet in our solar system, called Nibiru. According to Sitchin, Nibiru is home to the Anunnaki, 
who visit Earth periodically. Section 5, Nibiru and the Anunnaki Engineers of the Human Race. According to Sitchin, the Anunnaki came to Earth approximately 450,000 years ago in search of gold. They needed this precious metal to repair their planet's dwindling atmosphere. Establishing their base in Mesopotamia, the Anunnaki began mining gold. However, they soon grew weary of the arduous labor. It was then, Sitchin claimed, that the Anunnaki decided to create a new race of beings to do their bidding. They genetically engineered Homo sapiens by combining their own DNA with that of Homo erectus, a primitive hominid species already present on Earth. This act of creation, Sitchin argued, is depicted in ancient Sumerian texts. He pointed to the story of Enki, the Anunnaki god of wisdom, who is credited with fashioning humans from clay. Sitchin interpreted the clay as a metaphor for genetic material. The implications of Sitchin's theory are profound. If true, it would mean that humans are the product of extraterrestrial intervention. Our very existence would be inextricably linked to these ancient astronauts. While Sitchin's theory remains highly controversial, it continues to fuel speculation about human origins and the possibility of ancient alien contact. Section 6. Evidence from Ancient Texts. Deciphering the Clues. Proponents of the Anunnaki theory often point to ancient texts as evidence to support their claims. They argue that these texts, when interpreted correctly, reveal the Anunnaki's presence and their influence on human civilization. The Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest surviving works of literature, tells the story of a Sumerian king who embarks on a quest for immortality. During his journey, Gilgamesh encounters Utnapishtim, a man who survived a great flood. Utnapishtim's story bears striking similarities to the biblical account of Noah's Ark. Some scholars believe this flood myth originated with the Anunnaki. The Enuma Elish, the Babylonian creation myth, describes how the god Marduk defeated the primordial goddess Tiamat. From Tiamat's slain body, Marduk created the heavens and the earth. Some researchers believe this myth symbolizes a celestial event involving the Anunnaki's home planet, Nibiru. While these ancient texts are open to interpretation, they offer tantalizing glimpses into a time when gods and humans supposedly walked the earth side by side. Whether these stories are literal accounts or allegorical tales, they continue to fascinate and inspire us today. Section 7, The Anunnaki in Art and Artifacts, Depictions of Advanced Beings. Beyond written texts, proponents of the Anunnaki theory also point to ancient art and artifacts as evidence of their existence. They argue that these objects depict beings with advanced technology and knowledge, consistent with descriptions of the Anunnaki. One frequently cited example is the cylinder seal VA-243, housed in the Vorderasiatisches Museum in Berlin. This artifact depicts a group of figures gathered around a central star. Some researchers interpret this scene as a representation of the solar system, with the star representing the sun and the surrounding figures representing the planets, including Nibiru. Another intriguing artifact is the Narmer palette, an ancient Egyptian ceremonial palette dating back to around 3100 BC. This object depicts a king wearing a crown resembling a bull's head. Some researchers associate the bull with the Anunnaki god Enki, suggesting a connection between ancient Egypt and the Anunnaki. While the interpretation of ancient art and artifacts is inherently subjective, these objects offer intriguing glimpses into the beliefs and practices of ancient cultures. Whether or not they provide definitive proof of the Anunnaki's existence is a matter of ongoing debate. Section 8. Skepticism and Criticism, Debunking the Myth Despite its popularity, the Anunnaki theory has faced significant criticism from mainstream scholars and scientists. Critics argue that the theory lacks credible evidence and relies on misinterpretations of ancient texts and archaeological findings. One of the main criticisms leveled at Sitchin's work is his interpretation of Sumerian cuneiform. Linguists argue that Sitchin's translations are often inaccurate and misleading. They claim he cherry-picks words and phrases to fit his theory, ignoring the broader context of the texts. Furthermore, scientists have found no evidence to support the existence of Nibiru, the supposed home planet of the Anunnaki. Astronomers argue that a planet with Nibiru's purported orbit would have been detected by now. 
They also point out that such an orbit would be inherently unstable, making it highly unlikely that a planet could maintain it for any significant length of time. While the Anunnaki theory has captured the imaginations of many, it remains outside the realm of accepted scientific and historical understanding. Critics urge caution, emphasizing the importance of critical thinking when evaluating extraordinary claims. Please like, share and follow Truth Be Told and Club Paranormal.